Well, let me ask you one other thing, Connor. What about uh, romance? Are you? Can I ask you some questions about that? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I tend to keep a lot of that stuff private online, but we can we can delve into like the surface level stuff if you want. We can also not talk about it. So l let me let me just share with you what I'm curious about, and then you let me know if it's good Absolutely. or not. Yeah, yeah can, let's do that. That sounds great. Just so the theme that we're running with is that you have yeah. So maybe we should. I, I detect hesitation from you, and now I'm wondering about what's going on internally and whether you yeah. would feel okay saying no or whether that would create guilt and therefore you can't say no. Well, I, okay, I feel at this point that I, if you ask a question that I'm uncomfortable with, I feel com comfortable okay, saying cool. I don't want so, to ask So that. the only reason I bring it up is is just in, in, in relation to our general theme, which is, okay, sure, you, you sure. used to be sad, but you yeah. weren't sure why. Yeah. And now even like what I'm getting a lot of, the most consistent theme is that everything's kind of going okay, but I'm not quite yeah. sure why. Right. So yeah. th th there's like an internal like I, I feel kind of guilty about this, but it's OK, because like it, when I force myself to do it, I end up forming relationships and forming relationships is good, just like studying yeah. engineering. So we're going to do it because it's good for Connor and it's the right thing to do. And we don't want to yeah. disappoint people and we want to be reliable and we want to be this thing. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Only reason I'm curious about romantic relationships at all, and we don't have to talk yeah. about it, is just whether this thing enters into the ro romantic realm or not. Uh, yeah, yeah, it definitely, it definitely, it definitely does um, for me. Um, I mean, it, I was in a, I guess I had a pretty, pretty bad relationship like four or five years ago that at the time I felt like I, I knew it was bad but i just wasn't able to for some reason and i think maybe this is the, the guilt aspect of me i just wasn't able to bring, bring myself to get out of it and it, ultimately i'm very grateful that they ended up breaking up with me because i don't think i would have done it uh, yeah. and i don't know why and it was a it was a really awful relationship for me i, I wouldn't i wouldn't say it's like i, I wouldn't say it was a, uh, like mentally abusive at all but uh there was definitely some things that were like pretty pretty fucked up uh, and I think that I had a really tough time knowing how to handle that because yes. you, you just don't get a you don't get so, a lesson on that growing up. <laughs> yep. So we're so I'm I'm gonna try to step in, okay, for yep. a second, and I'm gonna tell you about that relationship. We're not even gonna okay. ask you about it. So okay. and I could be completely wrong because I have no fucking idea, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so l let's just talk about generically people who are maybe a little bit like you who may wind up in relationships like this. Not really yep. frankly abusive because if it was frankly abusive, you would have left. Yeah, right. Yeah. Like you say, hey, yeah. this is objectively bad. Yeah. Therefore, I'm going to leave. Yeah. But sometimes when we live our life, so let me think about how to say this. When we live our life in a way that actions are the way that we fix emotions, mm. we can end up ping-ponging back and forth within a relationship. So yeah. if I break up with them, then that will evoke guilt and I didn't do my part or I did some of my part, mm. right? But like, I could have done more. This is me giving up and I don't want to be someone who's a giver-upper. And so then you're like, okay, I'm not going to break up. But then in the relationship, certain things happen that make you feel bad. Yeah, and then yeah. maybe you feel guilty for feeling bad because yeah. it's not their fault and you want to give them the benefit of the doubt and maybe yeah, you absolutely. give them the benefit yeah. of the doubt. So then you're like, okay, yeah. I want to stay in this relationship, but it hurts to stay in the relationship. And yeah. maybe even like college, you're a little bit, you know, like you're a little bit sad even though you should shouldn't be yeah and so this relationship on paper seems to be good in a lot of ways and you should be happy in this relationship so you kind of stay in it yeah because you're not supposed to throw away things that should be good for you right uh yeah no no you shouldn't <laughs> well you think so uh, how, does that i'm trying to keep you from sharing so how, how does that sit with it or are we completely off base here yeah, uh yeah i mean at the time a lot of my friends didn't didn't i didn't like it that much <laughs> and i got a it was kind of a it was just a i don't know like looking back i'm like man i'm such an idiot i just didn't do anything and i think and i don't understand why but i remember having these feelings of i knew it wasn't good but the thought of having to uh yeah i suppose deal with that guilt of of having to i guess also accept that i it just wasn't working is also you know a tough thing to accept sometimes and something that I, I think uh, is, has always been tough. Yeah. And what makes it hard to accept that things aren't working? I don't know. It's, I guess it, in my head, it's even though I understand, like, I know that my brain is doing some kind of weird ass gimnastics to try and justify that, I, like, I'm at fault or something like that. But I, I know it's not that. I'm, I'm, I'm conscious enough to be aware of that, but yet I can't bring myself to separate that feeling from it. Which feeling? Uh, the feeling of that, like, I'm at fault. Yes. Or that I've, I'm, I've, I haven't done my part. Yeah, right? And, and, and that's, so when, when you feel irrationally that you haven't mm. done your part, what do you yeah. end up doing in the relationship? Normally, I would just overcompensate and do too much. Absolutely. The problem. <laughs> what you end up doing is more. Yeah, yeah. Right? Because if you yeah. can do more, what does it do to the feeling in here? It feels like I, I can I can make that feeling go away. 
Absolutely. I can fix it. This relationship yeah. is not working. And I can fix it. That's the meme. <laughs> Right? I was definitely guilty of that. I was definitely guilty of the I can I can fix a meme.